reviews from the tomb, I will be reviewing the 64046 Zombie Plane Ride. The zombie Plane Ride was released this year, 2016, and it is a part of the Michaels Signature Collection uh, for this year. And if you're wondering how much it costs, it costs $130. But if you get a 50% off coupon, then it should take it down to at least 65. So I honestly think that is a really good deal for this for a $130 bike. So anyways, let's get on with the close-up and take a better look at this cool piece. Now before I take a look at the big plane ride, it also comes with this really cool operator uh, for the ride. And as you can see, it says Fly Zone 7 Tokens on a sign and that is uh, printed on the back also you have the man operator operating the zombie plane right uh you're wearing like a green shirt got a green hat on um and then you got the little operating stick with the joystick uh to make the ride stop and go so yeah and that's really cool so let's get on to the actual ride. Right, so now we're going to be taking an in-depth look at the zombie plane ride and starting with the base, as you can see, uh, you got some nice orange and white stripes going along the side of the base, along with some little strings that will have lights, and the whole ride is gated off by this long fence. And on top of the base, you can see that it is a road, and this is for the children to get on and off the plane before and after the ride has started. And the road also has some cracks, just like the control tower. Before I get onto the actual planes, I want to take a look at the control tower first. And on the base, where the before the control tower, you can see like a a nice uh, some LED lights that go around along the rim of the base that do light up. You got some clouds, with some of them have some like lightning, which is really cool. And you got like. You got like some more like cracks along the base and the control tower to take a look at right now. Uh, the control tower really cool. The base has some a bunch of cracks and even a cool little den in there a little bit. You got some lights going along the bottom, which those are just painted on. Those do not light up. Along with these lights, they're just painted on. And you got like the little control tower, but it's covered up and it does light up. Uh, once the piece gets turned on, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. Uh, you also got some clouds and some lightning going on in those windows, and those are on all four sides. And you got um, some more lights on top, and you got a zombie right there. Really, really nice zombie there. You got like some um, packages, I guess, or like some suitcases. The really cool zombie there. Uh, really nice detail on the zombie, make him look so cool. His face a little bit neat there, and he is holding a bone. And as you notice by now, the plane ride is not at a flat surface um, on the base. As you can see, it's like it tilts up a little bit towards the back of the ride. And I honestly think that is a really nice effect because if you look at it, It'll kind of give like a really nice tilt to it and it actually feels like, well if you're on the ride, it feels like you're actually going into the air. So I thought that was a really nice um, thing they did with this ride. Now I'm going to be taking a look at the zombie plane ride sign in the back of the ride and it's just a really cool sign. Uh, as you can see it says zombie up on the top, it has like kind of like a blue outline and, uh, and the main board is black with the zombie um, sign and that will light up uh, like a yellow yellowish orangish when this piece gets turned on and right below it says plane ride you got a little plane um, and, and you got the flag behind the plane saying plane ride so I want to say I think that is a really nice touch for this cool plane ride now I want to take a look at each of the planes. As you notice, each of the planes have pretty much the same molding on them. 
uh, but it's just different colors. As you see, it's like printed numbers on them. So it says like Z, and then a dash, and then it has like a number. Each plane has a different number, and each plane also has a different person sitting inside them. Which there are a total of four children wearing costumes, and two children wearing ordinary clothes in this zombie plane vibe. There are also beams connected to each plane at the bottom, and connected to the control tower. Which is how the planes rotate and move up and down. And now let's go ahead and turn this piece on so you can see the lights, movement, and hear the sound. So this has been my review on the Lemex Spooky Town 2016-64046 Zombie Plane Ride. Um, honestly, in my opinion, this is one of the best rides that um, Lemex has released for their carnival in Spooky Town. Um, this is sorry about that. <laughs> this is one of my personal favorite rides. This is just another remake of the Octo Squeeze ride from 2008. You're seeing a picture right now. Um, and this, this honestly is a really cool ride. I love the animation. I love the sound. The sound is really cool. I love all the lights. Uh, and even the operator. The operator was such a nice addition to this uh, ride because you don't really get very many operators in some of the rides in Spooky Town and even the regular Carnival series. So you actually have to like uh, get like the clowns and uh, put them next to the ride as if they were like the ticket, um, um, what are we called? The ticket uh, collectors and the operator for the ride. So I'm very happy that they finally realized to put an operator or made an operator for this ride. So that is a really cool addition. So, uh, I think that's all I want to say for before I get the rating and on the reviews on the tier rating scale. I will be giving Lemax Boogie Down 2016, I was almost going to say 15, 2016 Zombie Plane Ride a total of 5 out of 5 pumpkins. Yes, this is just one awesome piece and ride for Spooky Town so far. Um, it's just really, really cool. I actually really like all the detail where where it makes it imagining that you're like flying in like a stormy, stormy night for the clouds and the lightning pictured everywhere on the control tower and even on the below in the base. Um, so yeah, I really like that effect of it too also. Um, this is just such a cool ride. I love it a lot. Uh, if you can get it for cheap enough, I would recommend getting it. It'll make a great addition to any Spooky Town Carnival. Um, and, and yeah. Uh, so, I really hope you enjoyed this video and review. Please rate, comment, and subscribe to see more. And a link to my other reviews on Tomb. Uh, videos and my playlist will be in the description below. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.